Another absolute beauty. I'm gonna wait to turn it on because I'm so low on batteries. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna get some bait. I'm thinking by the jetty rocks. Over there, I'll make some bait with my sabiki right here, the old school pen. Have this thing ready. It'll drop down. JR showed me this little trick, check it out. You put the sabiki clips together. Okay. And then check out that bad boy, JR, JR had it, the candy bar scramps. Little scampy, two tail. He likes the green and kind of orangish. I usually use the white. 
All right, I gotta get to fishing, let's go. And then I got my squid to put on everything from Summit Gas. Found out Joe's not working there anymore. Let's cruise to the harbor, check it out. A little something different from Baja. I'll flash the card for my Baja video. Down there with Lugato, the man, the myth, the legend. He's showing me the ways on the Odyssey, the Grady White. Really fun piloting that boat. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Lou. Everybody, thank you. I can't thank you enough. I'm living the dreams, and the more I talk about it, the more it all just comes it's happening. It's going down right now. It's not in the future. It's all coming together better than I ever imagined. Started with the solo skip right here. JR was talking about a white ball. I'll look for bait visually. And I'll turn the binder on when I get out there too. I gotta flip it down. I got my net and my gaff today. A game clip and a kill bag with some of those big blocks of ice. Lou had those down in Baja too. JR had gave me some last night. So always everyone looking out for me. It's so awesome. Look at that view down the coastline. down gal put back check it out we got the Rita G right here Rita G Rita R that was my mom rest in peace mom I love you I miss you I know that you're along with all these adventures. You're right here with me. I can feel you. I love you. Let's see. It's 12.4 volts, so that's good for right now, 12.3. This is where I went out last time. 40 feet of water. Keep my eye out for bait. I got some chum, too. Underneath the kill bag, but JR gave me this chum. Oh, I know. I can line my kill bag with this trash bag, it's gonna be nice. Okay. Chum it up, boy. I'm seeing a couple marks. I'm gonna go ahead and chum it up a little bit. Let's see if we can get any bait to come up. Cruise around a little bit. Looks like we got a kayaker up here. What's going on with these birds? A little sus. A little suspect. Good morning. Good morning. Any luck yet? Nice! Were you just fishing right around here? Yeah, right here. Dang! I don't even know. I was gonna go make some bait. I try to make some bait, but I think I'm just gonna fish. Uh, were you just fishing a plastic? What were you fishing? Squid? I, I'm fishing with a little squid and a little anchovy. 
Very nice. Yeah, and you got a uh, a lingcod too. Good for you. One of the better mornings you've had in a little while, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Hot on the bottom. Broke off my hook. I'm gonna put this away. And I'm gonna go ahead and fish the bottom. That's what this guy says. JR was hitting me up. 45, 50 feet. Yeah, I'm already getting bumped. Probably took it. Yep. Gotta have a bait on it. Big chunk, big fish. Looks nice down there. There you go. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick off some. I'm gonna go try to get some reds and some lings. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Dang, it's drifting pretty good out, huh? Yeah, go reset. You were doing better on the inside of that rock wall. Nice structure down here. Yeah, yeah, it's on the low. Okay, see what happens when we hit the bottom. I might cruise around until I see marks. I'm not really seeing that many marks. They got taken. Cut some smaller pieces. Some strips. And I could use some sand. You got it again? Uh oh. It's a big one. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. The wind got, I thought I was stuck on a rock for a minute. And finally he came free. Oh, he got you for a little bit? A lot of times I'll feel like I'm snagged on the bottom when I hook up with the link cod. Yeah, this thing didn't really fight it all. Just, just like, just... How many inches was it? Uh, probably about 28. Nice. Come on. Fishy, fishy by my line. Pretty shallow. 27 here. Real fishy. That's why you were dropped right there. Do you have a fish on? No. I got a scampi, a green. Uh, what color is yours? White. Yeah, I might switch to white. I'm trying kind of the greenish double, you know, scampi two tail with a squid on it like that. Candy bar scrims. I think it's just a matter of getting it in their face where they're at. Yeah. How much squid do you use on yours? How big of a piece? Inch. Oh, you like a square, not a strip? Uh, that's right. Yeah, that's a good call. Right here, I better get bit. At least get a nibble. Oh, they were taking it. Did you get the bite? Yeah. Feels like a link cod style. They take it kind of slower, huh? Right here. Got it? Nice. Yeah. I love it when that happens. It's looking real good right here. Are they biting the anchovy more? Yeah, I'll take some anchovy and try it out. I might change the color of my lure. Normally, I didn't think it makes that much of a difference. Surprise, because this looks like such a 
right here i'm seeing all the marks so what do you, what do you mean by marks um i got my i got my fish finder yeah, so you see, fish? see oh. that you want to just put this somewhere i'm getting bit. Well, yeah if you can just throw it right here thank you very much i'm gonna give that a shot I use those right now that's good thank you good up uh, all right. Oh. I, I did like you. Okay, should go around in circles. Yeah. Well, we're drifting out, right? There we go. Now we'll try the anchovy. Thank you very much for that. Put it on the dropper loop. I'm gonna put that dropper or that anchovy just uh, straight on the dropper loop, not on my plastic. See I, it? I, I, I put it on my scampi. Oh, do it on the scampi, you think? Yeah. Okay. I put the, the, the little piece of squid and then your anchovy on that. Oh, you double up! Absolutely. There you go. Give the fish what they want, a smorgasbord. A smorgasbord, I like that. What's your name? I'm Bruce. Nice to meet you, Bruce. I'm Mikey. Mikey, nice to meet you too. I met a guy named Kevin who came out. He's out by that buoy out there. Oh, I saw, yeah, another guy. He's out by the green can. Are, or there's a red said, one out there. He said he was going out there. That's where I was planning on going, but now that you say that you're catching fish here, I'm like, I, I can't pass that up. Those are my buddies right there to your right in front of you. Oh yeah, just past the green. If you, if you see them, I went in. You're out, are you done? Good job today. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Gotta be careful right here. This is right. Very, very scary yeah, that's why you're getting deeper, huh? I like on the inside because it's kind of rough off. Fish on the edge. Dang, got off. That was a nice bite. In the anchovy too. So they like through the head. Dang, I just got a real nice bite. Oh, like a lingy ling ling ling. Got that pen squall bait caster. Let's see. Deeper water, 50 feet here. Getting bit. All right, it's time to mix it up. Find out what these fish want to eat. I'm gonna try the white candy bar scrimps. In a heavier. Here we go. I already have one. Put some scent too. We're gonna go ahead and unclip the green. Okay. Let's see what we can make happen now on this. I've gotten some nice slams on the bottom, but I can't get anything to stick. Wait till I see some marks. Oh, nice one. Yeah. What are you using? Squid? I saw your buddy Bruce earlier. Yeah. You too, thank you. What'd you end up with? Good one. All right, check that bad boy out. The JR special. Big old 
squid plastic. Let's see what this does. Get a little tighter. Heavier weight. Get down quicker. Still looking for that first fish. It's all good. Gonna keep working it, keep pounding it. Alright, I've had enough of this. Even though that Bruce said that he got his limits here, I think I was just a little too late. I haven't got, I've gotten bites. Really close to getting them stick, but that, nothing stuck yet. No fish. That other guy came through and he got a link cod, so. We're gonna, I'm gonna make my way further up north. here 30 feet of water I'm gonna put some scent on it got some hot sauce here I can go with JR's Let's see. got some patches of kelp right there that's good there's the power plant further up I love that green scrimps candy bar scrimps let's see Nice, there it is. I got some bait. What do you got? Smell? The smell is perfect. Very nice. Well, that's good. I got one piece of bait. Smell. I'm going to go ahead and drop down around this kelp. I saw some structure on my Navionics, some rocks also. And then if I see bait, I'm going to make some more. That's what happened last time. All right, I got the smell, live smell, so I might as well put it on the dropper loop that I have right here. JR hooked it up with this squall. That was nice of him. So, let me nose hook it. Got the one smell, nice and lively. Just caught. Little nose hook. Okay. Drop it down. Oh, good buddy. How you doing? Hi. Any luck? Nah, you going in? You all done? Yeah, you need a smell for something? I just made a, a smell if I just put it on the bottom. You got extra bait? No. What'd you, you got some link cod? Did you get any halibut? Uh, no, I, just, I got one nice big ring and a couple of and some and, uh, Nice, you got your limits? Good job! Did you come out of Avila? Yeah! Oh yeah, I know that's what I started doing was the kayak fishing and then now I've been fishing off of this. It's just been the dream. This looks good to me. Yeah, this is it's been it's been the ultimate be able to have the extra range, you know. You still fish on your kayak? Yeah, I saw, I saw three or four other guys. I started fishing because the one guy said he was doing really good by the, uh, by the jetty right there. So I was fishing for there, but I couldn't stick it. I still haven't gotten any fish yet. I'm going for, I want the big halibut. Yeah, that's why I figured drift a live bait in between the rocks. While I fish, uh, fish the squid. Yep, that's what I'm doing right now. I got my live bait right here. 
So hopefully, what were you? What uh, kind of? What color plastic were you using? Oh, uh, Kai Tech? Yeah. Oh. Looks like I'm getting bit. Maybe I'm just hooked on the bottom. Yeah, Kai Tech is good stuff. Oh, yeah, I use the Easy Shiner. It's like the middle. Easy Shiner? How heavy of a lead head? I, I dropped the circle hook. Circle hook with two, two hooks? Like a paddle tail swim bait? Yep, yep. Looks like the middle, but that's the one called red. That's how you caught your reds? Oh yeah, same red. Berkeley Golf Trip. Oh yeah, on Berkeley Golf? Oh hell yeah, that's like a program. I'm gonna head back in How uh how big of a chunk do you like to put on your plastic? A whole piece? Got it. Right on. Thanks for all the info. What's your name? Ron? I'm Mikey. I'll see you around. Good. Yeah, that's where I like to fish out of too. Left him well. Yeah, it's good, it's good stuff. So. I'll see you around. Yeah, Cambria Rock. Have a good one. You too, Ron. Have a good one. That was cool. Getting the inside scoop from Ron. Different techniques. He was giving me a pointer. Kai Tech. He said Kai Tech. some strikes. On the scrimps. Some bit. This feels like a heavy fish. Wow. Here we go. Pally time. Got the live smelt. Wow. Oh, 
Oh no. Link card. Black sea bass. Man, I thought. Halibut. Even though I didn't get that feet that halibut, I'm gonna go ahead and put a whole squid on my dropper loop. The black sea bass. That was kind of a small one too. Nice fun fight. In a nice little seabed area here. Okay. in the house cruising through. They're getting done with their probably half half day trip. Nothing. I'm gonna move, try to find more fly bait, that's what I want. On the live bait, go ahead and put one of the smaller ones out there. Nose hook it, drop the loop down. Come on, we want a halibut, no more black sea bass. Cool looking fish, but. Man, look at all that smell I got. Some big ones in there. Got one down right now. No biters yet. Check it out, we're gonna fish Mr. Big Dog smell. Also a little wing cod. Might be a keeper. Let's see. See if he's keeper. Twenty-two inch is the minimum. 
go ahead and put them in my little game clip right here. Everybody knows this from the tuna video. So I can measure them off. Sweet! Link cod! Let's see. 22 and a half. Okay, so there you have it. First fish, link cod, 20, 22 and a half, 23 inches. I got another smell down, and we're gonna go back. I switched the paddle tail with a piece of chunk of squid and a descent. JR gave me, bite on. And I was casting up against this kelp. There's a rock I saw in my Navionics. The link cod smashed it. Let's see if we can get another one. Or get a bite on the dropper loop would be nice. Got that black. I got that black sea bass. Gotta release that though. Probably hear it. The wind's starting to kick up. Drifting a bait right now. No halibut, but I got that black sea bass in the same area where I started. Probably gonna be my last drift. It's starting to white cap. I'm gonna head back. 3:30. I got one short or uh, one keeper link. Black sea bass. I had to throw back, but I'm gonna bring it in. I'm not liking this wind. We're gonna just take off and fish by the jetty. But look at that, how quick it changed. I'm out of here. See you later. Try it again, I hear the can, and here's the spot. We're gonna go with the candy bar scrimps. Still got some squid left. Some scent. Squid head. Some scent. Thought I was getting bit. Just hung up on the bottom. So we'll check it out. I did get hit up. That looks like a halibut rake right there on the live bait. So he's still alive. Gonna put him back down and then finish off by trolling practicing the bounce ball trolling the squid hoochie jr's showing me the ways see if we get bait on the live bait though okay here it is i got my 16 ounce weight and then here's my squid hoochie so i got a three-way swivel Put this stuff away. Okay, here's how I'm gonna do it. Got my Fathom 25 here. And clip together. I have a three-way swivel. One 
tie goes to my weight. Here. I have this heavy weight. 16 ounce. And the other side, I have a flasher. This little mini dodger. And I have a clip. Clip this on. Okay, go ahead and bring this in. Done with it. Live bait, got that black sea bass. But no, and then a rake on the halibut. But no, taker, stickers, halibut. Okay. Dropper loop's done. So, that goes down. And I'm gonna put it right here. We're gonna go with JR's. Special, special sauce right here. And we'll do a piece of squid too. Better yet, I just found this a little sand crab. Let's try that. Trolling. We're trolling hard, sunset, bounce balling. All right, I'm in some, a sandy area next to some rocks. This is the perfect, I'm gonna troll this bounce ball. along the rocks for sunset. Okay, there it is. On the bottom. Let's wait. Got hit. Oh no, it's on the motor. Dang. Ah. Got my hardware back. Solo skip fishing, uh, San Luis Obispo. I had to release the black sea bass back in because the black sea bass is protected. But I'm I'm happy. I got my keeper, my keeper link cod right here. We'll do a little catch clean cook. Life is good. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe, pound that like. We're doing it. I don't know where my next spot fishing is going to be, but it's nice to be fishing a lot lately. Put the link cod in the bag. Okay. 
Okay, sunset time. Always a beautiful, always a beauty. Whether it's California, Baja, wherever it is, can't get enough of that sunset. Man, what a sunset.